Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you how we can compare the strength of different uh, scatter plots. So in a previous video we talked about how we can have multiple correlations at the same time. Now I'm going to show two correlations here in separate windows. So I'm going to compare January high temperatures with January low temperatures. So I'm going to insert a chart and it still wants a line chart so I'm going to switch to scatter plot. So it's a positive association. It's linear. It's pretty strong. But let's compare summer temperatures now. So if we compare this with July high and July low temperatures, we're going to get this scatter plot. Now this is also positive. It's linear, but not as strong. And that's about all we can say just by looking at the scatter plots is that this is not as strong of an association as this. But we can compute what's called the correlation coefficient. And that allows us to put into numbers how strong this scatter plot is compared to this one. So in Google Sheets, what we'll do is I'll press equal and then I'll press C O R R E L. And this is the command that we want to use. So we want to use this command. And so first we want to type in the first set of data. So I'm going to select this column. Then I'm going to hit comma. And I'm going to press the second column. And what this gives me is this gives me a number between negative 1 and positive 1. And the closer to 1 it is, the stronger a positive correlation. Or the closer to negative 1, the stronger the negative correlation. So this is very close to 1, 0.96. But let's look at the July temperatures. So, so if we use correlation here, and what's nice is it's actually even suggesting what we already did. So I can just click on that, and there we go. We get a value of 0.72. So all you have to do in order to use correlation is you have to select one set of data, whether it's in a row or a column, and then a second set of data. And you separate that with a comma. And as soon as you do that, Google Sheets will read them as two separate data sets, and it will give you the correlation. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you have questions, or type them in the comments. If you have suggestions, send me those. Don't forget, the best way to understand something is to do it.